The Serenity Pot was revealed in Genshin Impact 1.5 livestream, and since then we've gotten some more information about how it's going to work. There is a lot to unpack here, so let's just dive in. First of all, what is it? It's basically a housing system for players where you get to jump inside of a little teapot and play Animal Crossing. At least that's what it reminds me of. You get to decorate your little mini world outside and inside of the houses and visit other friends' worlds as well. So how do you get it? Upon the release of 1.5, which is April 28th, one week as of the recording of this video, all players of entering 35 and above who have completed Leetway's story will receive a new quest related to the Serenity Pot, probably involving Madame Ping if I had to guess. Completing the quest will unlock the Serenity Pot gadget, and using it will transport you to your realm. Pretty straightforward. Upon entering your teapot for the first time, you will get to choose between three layouts, a beach, a floating island, and a leeway mountain view. I'll be going with the mountain view, but let me know which one you're going to take, because I'm interested. Players will be able to switch between the layouts freely, so don't worry about choosing one and then being stuck with it. You can change it at any time. Players will also be able to unlock two additional layouts, but those have not been revealed at this time. If I had to guess, I'd bet on Mondstadt Plains as one, and the other to be themed around Dragon Spine. You'll be able to unlock these layouts, as well as other features for your homes, by increasing your trust rank. You can increase your trust rank by crafting furnishing. Each time you craft an item for the first time, your trust rank will increase. In other words, if you craft a chair for the first time, your rank will increase. After that, crafting additional chairs won't do anything. But crafting something else, like a bed, will. And so on and so forth. You can craft furnishing by obtaining blueprints by, quote, increasing your trust rank, completing the adeptal mirror, and participating in events. Besides this, you can exchange for furnishing blueprints in the realm depot or from the teapot traveling salesman, unquote. We don't have any information on what the adeptal mirror is, and the realm depot is just a little kiosk for you to buy things, as far as I'm aware. Once you have the blueprints, you'll need crafting materials. These will be the standard ores, plants, and other materials or ingredients that we've been collecting since day one, as well as wood, which is new. Players will now be able to attack and cut down trees in the overworld to obtain wood. Presumably, claymores will be the most efficient at this. There will also be a traveling teapot salesman who will appear on the weekends to sell some furnishing. It sounds like what he sells will be different for each player, and you will be able to go inside of your friend's realms to buy the items he's selling there, in case he's not selling anything you're interested in your own world. To place furnishing, just tap the hand icon at the top, and it will prompt you to place your items pretty straightforward. The more furnishings you have placed, and the higher your trust rank is, the adeptal energy in your realm will increase. You'll be able to collect some more of a new currency, creatively called Realm Currency. You can use this Realm Currency to buy things like furnishing and blueprints, although how you obtain it isn't very clear. It sounds like it's a stamina system, replenishing over time the same way that Resin does, but I could be wrong on that. Features that are planned to come in the future, so these are not coming in 1.5, but rather 1.6 or later. A gardening system that will allow players to grow and collect vegetables and other plants. The feature to be able to place characters that you have unlocked in the same way that you would place furnishing. Just hang, have them hang around and look pretty. Interactions with more of the items is in the works. Presumably you can sit on chairs and benches as you can in the game now, but the dev team wants to add more interactions than that with different items. Finally, sending furnishing to your friends, although by the sounds of it, this seems to be much farther in the future, if at all. Time for thoughts. What do I think? I think it's cool. It's something to do between big events, because right now there's not a whole lot to do. 
when there's not an event going on, it's just log on, do your dailies, do your resin, log off. Is it going to be a one and done sort of deal? Or is it going to be getting updates and items with each new update, with some new features, Inazuma themed layouts and other regions when we get them, long row items themed around those, etc. I think it has a lot of potential. Now something that does worry me a bit is the uh, realm currency. If it works the way that I'm led to believe it works, which is the same way as resin, is it going to have the same problems as resin? Maybe not because these are purely aesthetic things. They're not integral to the game like resin is. So maybe it won't be that bad, but it does have me a little bit worried. Besides that, they have a lot of updates in the works for the Serenity Pot. That's cool. I just hope that doesn't mean that it's going to launch pretty bare bones and they're just going to fix it later on. It doesn't seem like it is. It seems like there's a lot going on right now, but it's something to think about. Well, that's just about all I have for you. Those are the information that we have right now, as well as my thoughts. Thank you so much for watching.